Hi, I'm Tim Lane from Wright State University and the Montgomery County Unintentional Drug Poisoning Project. Nationally, how common is the non-medical use of prescription drugs? In 2010, 16 million Americans aged 12 and older had taken a prescription pain reliever, tranquilizer, stimulant, or sedative for non-medical purposes at least once in the year prior to being surveyed. Nationally, nearly one-fourth of 18 to 25-year-olds has used non-prescribed pain medication. Our 2012 Dayton Area Drug Survey shows that 14% of area 12th graders have used non-prescribed pain relievers, such as Vicodin and Percocet, and 12% have used benzodiazepines like Xanax, Clonopin, and Valium. What is the impact of the increase in non-medical use of prescription drugs? The one we're most interested in is drug overdose. Although not all of the overdoses result in death, they all have a significant personal and community toll. In Ohio, prescription drug overdoses were the fastest growing cause of accidental deaths in the last decade, and now exceed automobile crashes as the leading cause of accidental deaths in our state. Research we've conducted at Wright State suggests that there are more than 500 cases of drug overdoses per year in Montgomery County, both fatal and non-fatal. When you consider surrounding communities, basically what we know as the Miami Valley, the number is higher. What are the characteristics of people who unintentionally overdose on psychoactive drugs? Considering just those people who visit an emergency room for a drug overdose from anti-anxiety drugs, pain pills, and other drugs like cocaine and heroin, women slightly outnumber men, and white people outnumber people of other races and ethnicities here in the Miami Valley. In terms of age, there are proportionately more people aged 45 to 54 than any other group, followed by people aged 25 to 34. What are the most frequently mentioned psychoactive drugs, those drugs that bring people to the hospital emergency department? Data from the last four years shows that the most frequently mentioned drugs are benzodiazepines, such as Xanax, followed closely by prescription opioids, such as Vicodin and Percocet. Heroin and cocaine are other common drugs found in people who are treated for overdoses in emergency rooms. Hallucinogens and amphetamines, or other stimulant drugs, are much less common. Are there any trends with these drugs? Our data show that the prevalence of benzodiazepines and prescription opioids, which are the most common drugs among people who are treated in emergency departments, increased significantly from 2007 to 2008 and have remained fairly constant since then. Heroin overdoses also rose in 2008 and then decreased slightly in 2010. Cocaine overdoses decreased slightly during the 2007 to 2010 period and overdose rates from methadone, the type used to treat pain, not the type used in drug abuse treatment, have stayed fairly constant throughout. Of course, many people who overdose don't survive. In 2011, 130 Montgomery County residents died of an accidental drug overdose. Among those 130 people, 62% had a prescription opioid, like Percocet, in their system when they died. 65% had a benzodiazepine, such as Xanax, in their system. The prevalence of prescription opioids and benzodiazepines in overdose deaths appears to be decreasing slightly. Still, nearly half of the individuals who died had taken both a prescription opioid and a benzodiazepine, which can be an especially dangerous combination. You'll hear more about these drugs and their effects in the other sessions comprising our series about drug overdose issues. Thanks for watching.